What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and my throat is a little bit sore today so apologies about that but we did have to get out this review because a lot of people were asking about these J-League players. So these are brand new epics that were released on Thursday the 28th of March and next week we're going to have new epics again. So they've started to release kind of different ones. You have your big time, you have your epics and then you also have these different type of epics which is a box of 100. So yeah I mean it's easier to clear but there's only two players in this which is Stoichkovic and Nakata. Now I had Nakata early doors on my main profile in eFootball 2022, the Legend Edition. This card is pretty similar to that. They've got similar overall, similar levels. And to be honest with you lads, this is a very disappointing pack in terms of where the game is at right now. I feel like that they're just kind of waiting for the next big kind of card drop or new boosters, whether that's going to be plus four, plus five to the boosters or the manager booster is going to link in in a different way. We'll cover that in the stream later on today. But I wanted to get this video out with a bit of a training guide to show you guys as well. Now, always with these packs, they come with a selection of players. And you can see here that we have a couple of players in here. I think it's 10 in total, um, if just by a quick count here. Um, you've got your goalkeeper. You've got a couple of CBs. You've got a couple of center forwards. There's nobody in here, really, lads, that kind of... Listen, you just don't need to be spinning for these, honestly. Like, that's not to say that if you're a newcomer, you won't find some nice hidden gems in here. Um, like, this guy is not a bad center forward to have, apart from his lack of uh, skills. He's fairly tall, he's fairly strong, good physical contact, good finishing. When you train him up, he's got 35 levels. You're never going to have speed with this guy because he's too slow. But as a target man, target men do have a place now in the game. You also have, of course, Okuno. This guy is pretty decent as well as a box-to-box. -box. Just kind of a simple player enough that if you don't get Nakata, this guy is pretty decent as well. But, I mean, when you're talking about decent, I'm talking about these players don't even compare to standard GP cards, such as Donnarumma for the goalkeeper here, or Mbappe or any of those. If you grind for literally a week, you will be able to buy any player or any squad uh, that you want for GP if you are, you know, smart enough with your time to do that. So the big problem with all of these cards, lads, and it's why I don't really spend that long reviewing them or testing them out that much. Um, you know, we test out every card, every card that we can, but you just know by these guys that with their lack of player skills, and this guy's got a lack of a real face even, but, and I mean, what is that haircut, man? Holy moly. That looks like Mr. Bean's haircut or something like that, like that episode of Mr. Bean. But honestly, I just feel like that with these players, man, the lack of player skills and the lack of abilities that they have, unless they're a top, top, top tier player, it's always difficult to recommend these guys. I mean, look at this guy, man, as a CB buildup with blocker. That's all he has. He doesn't, he just takes so much work to actually get through. You know, you've got interception needed, acrobatic clearance you have, but you need aerial superiority, you need heading, you need slide tackle, man marking. Why play with these cards when it's super easy to just get other cards that are just going to completely, absolutely destroy these in terms of stats, in terms of skills, in terms of everything. So I do feel like that's a bit of a hard sell for these cards that you probably are. Like this guy's got a lot of nice skills, but again, you've got lack of acceleration, balance. He's a fox in the box, but he's not running guns. So, you know, it's it's difficult, man. It's very, very difficult. Now, the two players that I will focus on and show you the build, first up, we are going to take a look at Nakata. Now, Nakata with the booster, right? I'm working on a video at the moment. I haven't seen anybody talk about the booster effect and how it's changed in V3.4. So I am working on a fairly in-depth video for that. But basically, the way I'm doing these cards now, the way I'm training them, is if they're going to be a starter for me. So if they don't hit a certain level at level one without their booster, I'm not really interested. And the cat that does actually interest me quite a bit because he's got 80 ball control, 82 tight possession, and 82 acceleration off the rip at level one. That's even without his booster and the manager boost. Forget about that for the time being. Now, what I like about Nakata most of all is that he's got a nice range of and variety of shooting skills, passing skills, and dribbling skills, right? So he's got cut behind and turn. He also has true passing, outside curler way to pass and low lofted. And of course, he's got long range shooting and first time shot with one touch pass and dip and shot as well as long range curler. So that's kind of everything that you would possibly need. I would potentially throw on double touch on him. Always good if you want that on your run and gun attack him midfielder. Of course, it's always good. But I would potentially run that on him if you wanted to uh, get somebody like that as a creative playmaker. It's just, I feel at the moment, classic number 10s are definitely way, way, way better um, than creative playmakers. Creative playmakers fill into a bit of a different position than they used to before V3.4. I've already covered a classic number 10 video. I advise you guys to check that out to show exactly why classic number 10 is so effective now. 
if you play that way and if you slow the game down a little bit. But wait, when we actually take a look at his card here, right, we're just going to take his card at face value. We're not going to be looking at boosters or managers or anything like that. eFootball DB are still working on integrating that because I know a lot has changed. But it actually kind of suits for where we're at with building these cards at the moment, you know. So we can get a really clear picture as to what this card's true actual rating will be without adding the buffs and, the, and the, the boosters and all that, right? So 90 ball control, 92 type possession, 93 acceleration, 90 balance. So this is a really, really nice card. When you couple all the player skills with a, a version of this card like this, it is a phenomenal card. You know, you're going to have plus 90s in a lot of stats. You have a really nice low center of gravity with Nakata. He's a really good player, uh, AI or player ID. And the shooting is 5, passing is 8, dribbling 10, dexterity 11, and 3 into lower body. It's a fairly simple build. You know, it's a fairly simple build. Now, Stojkovic is going to be a bit of a different player. He's actually down. Um, Stojkovic is down. Stojkovic? Yeah, Stojkovic is down as an actual attacking midfielder as well. Now, obviously, with the position trainers, you can give him different positions, but his booster is going to be in effect, and it's going to give a plus two, the same uh, booster here, but he actually has double touch and soul control off the rip, so you add flip-flap to this guy, and, you know, it's going to be a different ball game, and it's going to be very, very nice if you want to add that to him, and then give him that ball roll, which Neymar excels at, you know, and Bellingham excels at. Also, with the Marseille turn and the cut behind and turn, you've got a very slick dribbler. He is missing a couple of shooting stats, but his shooting is still is still pretty decent. And he's actually got really good shooting ability um, compared to the Nakata. He's just not as fast as, as, as running guns. So it's kind of, I feel at this stage now, it's a lot of these cards, man, they're, they're kind of just like, I think, waiting for the next big one. That if you are, you know, looking to collect cards and stuff, these cards are very unique, you know, and they'll be very rare. Especially the thing is, a lot of people are collecting cards like this because if they do eventually bring in some sort of trade function, these cards will be very, very rare. So it's kind of going to be like name your price if they ever bring in a transfer market style thing, which we'll get to in another video. But on his build here, we've gone for 6, 4, 10, 13 and 5. And that's going to be his base rating here, which is going to be 80 into offensive awareness. He's going to have really nice stats with the tight possession, the ball control, and the balance. The one thing letting him down is the acceleration, but he does have 80 finishing. So that kind of compensates for them lack of player skills or the lack of shooting skills. But let me know what you guys think. I mean, at this stage of the game, lads, right, with just that player build there, at this stage in the game, the biggest, biggest problem is when you are playing on your free-to-play or you're staying free-to-play, right, the biggest problem with this game is that there's just such an abundance of players, even if you have a fairly decent squad, right, such as this, which is a very achievable squad if you've been playing the game for a long time, where you get a couple of legends, you have a couple of epics, you have a couple of player of the weeks, and you've got lots of options. You're kind of really just, you know, shoehorning in a player just to shoehorn him in, because he's not going to add a massive amount different if you've got the likes of Gundor, if you've got Bellingham, or you've got any of those guys as an attacking midfielder, or Neymar, or Songkras, or any of those. So I'm interested to know your thoughts. We are working on a, a kind of a, a feedback kind of survey uh, video, which we're going to be doing live, um, you know, and recording everything, getting it down, because I want to know your thoughts, lads, you know, and as a community, it's very interesting to hear what different people are happy with and what different people are, what, what they're liking and what they're not liking, you know, so let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below, and uh, I will talk to you in a bit. Hope you enjoyed the review. Don't forget to subscribe. And uh, sorry again about my trope, boys. It's very, very, very sore today. So I'll talk to you in a little bit, man.